Uh, okay, and I have attention as well. That's good. I think um, most of the people in the audience have reached this room, so um, dear all, uh, dear colleagues, dear guests, dear local hosts, uh, welcome all to Aix-en-Provence for the 2016 edition of the Claren Annual Conference. The uh, Claren Annual Conference is the one and only event where the Claren community is able to look into the mirror to see how we've grown, which directions have become more prominent than they used to be, which frontiers have become more visible. So it's a moment for introspection, but at the same time, it's a moment to reach out, to demonstrate the progress to ourselves, to our friends, to our allies. Therefore, also on behalf of the Board of Directors, I would like to thank you all for being here, first of all. And for those of you who don't know uh, me, my name is Francisca de Jong. Uh, I'm the Executive Director of Claire and Eric since a little bit more than a year. Um, last year, I was the new kid on the block that quite quickly turned in uh, from a relative outsider into a new insider. And uh, in my first year, as you know how these things go with new directors, there was no escape. So several things had to be changed, new things had to be introduced. And uh, this also holds for uh, the format of the conference. Well, maybe not the format, but you know, I suppose, the insight uh, from the ancient Greeks is also known to you, namely that everything has to change in order to stay the same. And given that we are in France here, it's maybe good to couple that insight to what is widely know, a widely known fact about Chanel 5, uh, the most famous perfume. The identity of this fragrance is very solid. The community of users uh, love the idea to buy or borrow an identity based on Chanel's presumed eternal quality and image. But in fact, the composition of what you buy today is in many respects different from uh, the fragrance that was originally introduced way back at the beginning of um, uh, the 20th century. So it's the brand that makes the product, not the content. Uh, or not first of all, maybe. So in a similar vein, uh, there is nothing wrong with declaring conference uh, undergoing continuous change. Uh, but it's good to be aware of that. So let me briefly go over what is new this year. So first of all, there is uh, the hosting format. For those of you who attended previous editions, um, this year we, um, you, will, you will understand what I mean. But for the newcomers, we are this year in France, and France is a non-member country uh, from the perspective of Claren. So this is a sign of hope. We hope that France uh, will maintain an interest in collaborating with Claren and uh, maybe even join Claren uh, as a member, maybe not immediately. We, they may start as an observer. We would be very pleased to have them on board. Um, also, uh, a, a, a thing that is different here is that uh, here in X, the venue, this meeting place, is dissociated from the hotel accommodation. So this all comes with some new rules and practicalities uh, that will be presented by Brigitte Bigi, our local host, in a minute. Um, another new element is uh, the new Clarion house style that you can see on the seats. The colors are different and um, the Many other things uh, have been introduced to um, have a house style that is a stronger instrument in communication uh, with the outside world. Another new thing, several new member countries uh, can be welcomed here. Last year we had um, a Finland at the end of the year that joined Claire and Eric. Uh, this year uh, we have Latvia uh, and Hungary. Um, so we're growing, becoming bigger, and uh, we would like to welcome all the representatives of those new countries. There are also several countries considering to join Claire and Eric. They're preparing themselves to join, and they too are uh, represented here. Not all of them uh, were able to send somebody, but several countries 
have sent a representative and you are all very welcome. Um, we also have, which is uh, different from other years, uh, invited representatives of other research infrastructures and uh, e-infra organizations, e-infrastructure organizations. There will be a bit of explanation on that later on. Um, uh, but it's a new element. We are reaching out uh, in a bit more um, uh, faceted way than we did previously. Also, the call for papers uh, that gone, was, gone, was sent out this year is a bit more open. It also invited contributions from non-member countries. Um, Lars will tell more about uh, the response to the call for uh, papers this year. Lars Borin is the, um, the chair of the program committee. Uh, as you may know, uh, this event and the, the, the program of this event is the responsibility of the National Coordinators Forum. Um, and uh, the, the chair of the PC of this year is Lars Boren, and he will uh, tell you more about the attendance and the program and the paper review process uh, in a minute. But before I uh, will give the floor to him, I would also like to memorize that this year's edition takes place under the responsibility of uh, a board of directors in the new composition. Two directors have left the board last year, or in, in 2016, as their term ran out. Uh, Erhard Hinrichs, as chair of the NCF, the National Coordinators Forum, uh, has been succeeded by um, Koenraad de Smet. Uh, Koenraad, for those of people in the audience that don't know you, Koenraad is sitting over there. Um, and Martin Wynn. Martin, where are you? Yeah, OK, there in the back. Martin Wynn has been followed up uh, by Daya Fischer as director of user involvement, Darya Fischer. Um, so in a way you could say that this year, Darya is the new kid on the block. Um, and um, she is director of user involvement, which is one of the uh, priorities of the strategy in, in Clarin. And certainly uh, it's becoming more and more important now that we are um, sort of leaving the construction phase uh, behind us. It will never be uh, fully over, but uh, things will slightly move into other directions. Uh, so, Daria, would you like to say a few words to your new audience? Please take the floor. Hello, everyone. Um, it's uh, my honor and also my pleasure to be here and to start serving as the Director of User Involvement. Um, my goal is to make user involvement not just a priority in paper, but something that is set in our hearts, our minds, something that we make happen uh, by uh, joint effort. Um, I would like to uh, make my priority um, to attract users to Clarin by education and training, both the students and early stage researchers, but also I would try to uh, attract and convert uh, the trainers of the students and the early stage researchers. So I would like to reach out to the professors, to the teachers at the universities. Right now, I'm still learning all the acronyms and <laughs> what belongs where, um, and um, I'm sure that I will um, be on top of things very soon, so feel free to contact me with any ideas that you might have, and we will come up with a nice action plan for next year very soon in the next couple of weeks. Thanks a lot, and I look forward to work working with you. Thank you. Um, tomorrow during the conference dinner, uh, we will spend a few more words sort of um, farewell to the directors that, um, that left us. To summarize, this is a new edition of an old concept. Some changes, but a strong brand. So I assume that it will again be a source of, of inspiration for all of us. Thank you. <laughs>